Hello. Hi, is Kevin available? Just a minute, please. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Kevin. Good. It's Dorothy. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Much better now. I finally had some time, so yeah, I was I'm waiting to call you all week, actually. <laughs> yeah. I got a sec, will you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. How are you? Hi, good. I got my sister's cat here. She won't leave me alone. <laughs> okay. So, um, I actually wanted to tell you, I have some sort of good news. Okay. Um, so, remember how I told you that when I first wanted to call you? Um, it was because I saw something online about uh, the initial thing, like the TV thing or whatever the hell it was, um, okay. that they were sharing on Facebook. So, mm -hmm. I uh, messaged a friend of mine who happens to be um, one of the admins on certain pages on Facebook, and he got it taken down for you. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and what he did for me is he, um, what they can do is they can basically flag um, words and names. So I asked right. him that in, um, in the future, if your name comes up in a post, it'll be automatically flagged. So, okay. you know, hopefully they won't be able to post anything with your name on it again at all. So, oh, okay. yeah, I thought that would be pretty good news. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good yeah. yeah, well. Like I said, I don't have computers. So I don't get yeah, I know. Anyway. So I, my biggest worry was, you know, um, like I said before, I was like the last thing I wanted was people to friggin' end up harassing you or, God forbid, like harassing your mom and everything because I've seen what they do. And it's just like uh, that's my whole purpose is, you know, to stop harassment right. of these people once they've um, paid their debt to society. So. My biggest right. thing was just, like, get his name off the goddamn internet, please. Because <laughs> it's just, like, so frustrating to me every time I see something like that. So, right. But you well, don't have to worry about that anymore. So that is Gonzo. Well, that's good. Thank you. I, well, it was news. my pleasure, honey, you know. <laughs> okay. yeah. um, so my other good news was um, I'm hopefully, within the next few months, um, my business here is going to be hopefully brought to an end soon because I'm in Jersey and it is extremely boring up here. <laughs> There's nothing to do. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I may be going back to Dayton, actually, um, in a couple okay. months. So, okay, Yay, cool. I finally get to see my family. I miss my dog so much. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> do you have any pets? No, uh, I don't know pets. Oh, no. Well, are you a dog or a cat person? Uh, I've had both. <laughs> well, you don't like one of them better? No, probably cats more than anything. Yeah, <laughs> they're so much more independent. That's I like my sister's cat. Yeah, yeah. She only comes if uh, she pays attention to you. It's because she wants a treat, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not falling yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah, no. I yeah, no shit, right? It's like the Egyptians yeah. worship them. That's They have that uh, <laughs> that personality maintained all these thousands of years, huh, Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> She's the queen of the castle. Um, anyway, so I'm just, anyway, I hope I'm not interrupting her. You know, I just, um. I wanted to keep in touch, and I actually, I would have, like, I wanted to call you the very next day, honestly, but I was just like, okay, that's a little, like, too forward. I should probably leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you said you had a job and everything with your friends, so I was like, well, I don't even know when he's going to be at work, so I'll... Yeah, it's been off and on now. Bide my time. It's still working for full time, and taking <laughs> care of doctor's appointments and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. And... Is everything okay? Yeah. Well, you, you're not sick, are you? No, no, no. I just, oh, good, you know, good, good. Getting back to my, you know, getting a doctor, getting a dentist, getting that time off. All right, getting all your, your uh, annoying time, stuff. Yeah, getting my appointments together and take, get, take care of that. And, yep. You uh, know how it is. I actually, um, I just, myself, um, I had, <laughs> I broke two toes because I'm extremely clumsy when I get out of my car and I smashed them right into a friggin' uh, curb thing. And my insurance is so crap, so it's just like I go in and they're like, they put just a little splint around it. Like, I swear I could have done it myself with a band-aid and a stick. It's $56 to put that on my toes. Are you kidding me? I could have done it myself. I could have just put two pairs of socks on and been fine. Christ. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. I can't wait to get back to Dayton because the whole, you know, the whole thing with the health insurance is up here, you know. But if I was back in Ohio, everything would be a little right. easier for me because that's where my actual doctors are. Yeah. Um, but regardless, uh, when I get there, now I'm um, not exactly sure when all of this crap is going to be done, because um, I do have to do, there's will negotiations going on, and you know how families get when that shit happens, right. so right. Um, it may not be until, like, um, 
the middle of May. Right. Um, but if you're going to be around, I would absolutely love to, you know, take you out to coffee, lunch, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. it is you like to do. Good. Yeah. I still have my car there, so okay. <laughs> it's been like hell trying to get an Uber everywhere. It's so expensive. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, good. Well, that would be excellent. I'm so glad you said yes. Yeah. I was so nervous to ask. No, that's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. That's okay. It's really good to talk to you again. Hey, you too. I appreciate the time. Well, it's, you know, you know I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. okay. I was trying not to be too forward. So what were you doing that's today? Did you have a good day? Yes, I did. I, you know, just did some running around, did some grocery shopping, stuff like that. And didn't do too much of anything. Are you a good cook? I used to be. Yeah, <laughs> you used to be. What happened? Well, I haven't cooked for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I get you. I'm a good cook. Maybe I'll make you some a nice pot roast when I see you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That is my favorite. Yeah. You like meatloaf? Because that's my best. It's the best thing I do. Not much, yeah. I, won't try. <laughs> I do the old um, Indiana chili too. If you know if you have that, it's not it's not as mm. hot as people like, but it's got all the good kinds of beans in it. So right, I'll right. make that for you since it's going to be closer to summertime. Yeah. You may have a cookout. Oh, yeah. I'm good. I love cookouts. It's always been my my secret favorite thing ever since I was a kid. <laughs> right. I'm a sucker right. for a macaroni and potato salad. Yeah, stand by. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, so I, I, um, do you have a little bit of time to talk? I'd love to just catch up with you. Yeah. Oh, well, that makes me so okay. happy. <laughs> huh? So that makes me so happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I've been wanting to talk to you all week. You know, I just didn't want to bother you. Right, right. Um, Thanks, uh, out. Yeah. Well, I figured you were busy, and I wasn't sure if you were, um, I don't know your work schedule or anything, so. Yeah. Um, so that you just uh, work. My mom and stuff like that. Oh yeah, is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Uh, how old is she? I didn't even ask. She's I forgot. 92. I should have asked. Ninety-two.
<laughs> oh, I'm so glad we have that in common. That's excellent. Yeah. Um, so I'm just like, I, I want to ask just for the sole purpose of, um, cause you know me, I, you know, the fair treatment is kind of my big old mission there. Um, Mm -hmm. so my biggest question is I want to know, um, were they all right to you in prison? Like, were, were you protected? They, well, yes, yes, I was, and no, I wasn't. I mean, it it depends on your attitude a lot of times. Right. People don't understand about prison. It's all in your attitude. Right. I mean, I had, I had people, uh, stick up for me, you know. Yeah. Uh, which helped them, you know, my attitude was like, well, you know. You know, yeah. You're going to do what you got to do. Absolutely. Remember, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And, mm-hmm. You know, that kind of makes them think. And, you Good. Know, um, but you had a support like network in there. Huh? You had a support network in there, I hope? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Were there especially other... Um, the, sorry, go ahead. Especially through the chapel. I mean, that was a good Oh, thing. yeah, of course, I'm sure. Yeah, it usually is. I mean, most of the people yeah. we talk to say the same thing. Whether um, right. no matter what religion it is, they always say that the the most support they get is from um, the groups that right. are either just there to worship or learn. So that's fantastic. Right. Right. Good. Good. Uh, did you make any friends in there? Like I'm, I hope there were people that were you know sticking up for you. Just besides that, I hope other inmates were were helping oh, you. Yeah. Out. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of us there. You know, in prison, you know, you know, you get people that hang around are, are, are the same. Okay? Yeah. Yeah different groups so naturally everybody in our group you know either uh you know had a faith in god right and or you know they may have had a sex offense and they understood everybody else oh good 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 so it was a good support there you know Mm -hmm. um it it was real nice and i didn't have too much of a problem yeah um it was one of those experiences you know that you got to not go through. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, because, right. You know, I learned, and yeah. it wasn't as bad as maybe the, you know, the movies, everybody was thinking. Yeah, it was, and they it was, tell you that it's going to be so terrible when really, you it know. Was, you, it wasn't right. no Texas State prison. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, thank gosh. Yeah. Goodness. Well, did anything, like, was there anything ever that happened to you where um, you, like, did anybody try to hurt you at all? Or was there, were you all right? Like, somebody was always there well, for you? you? You always have threats. And yeah, of course, it. yeah. I mean, nothing ever came of it. And a lot right. of times you find out, and everybody will tell you after the fact, and you find out more bark than bite. Yeah. <laughs> People are all talk on the inside, especially too. If, especially with your attitude. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. They try you, and if you're weak, well, then they're going to keep trying you. But mm-hmm. if you stand up for yourself, you know. Good. They're going to leave that dog alone. Right? Oh, I'm so glad. Don't want to play. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad yeah, you stood up for yourself. That's excellent. I'm so glad. It's the way it is. Right? Yeah, I guess it's the way it has to be, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, um, obviously, I'm not a big fan of the way things run in American prisons, obviously. I mean, that's why I got yeah. into this whole thing. But, an eye opener, you know. Of course, it always is. But it sounds like yeah. you uh you had some support, and that's good. It makes me very happy. I'm so right. glad to hear it. Right. Um, I mean, do you think like um all of that stuff, like at least just the bad stuff, anyway? Did it affect you know like how you feel now about like normal now that you're out, like normal situations? Like, do you ever find yourself like worried or something or? Um. No, no, or stressed no, out, I no, guess, no. would be the better huh? way to put it. So I guess, like, stressed out would be the better way to put it instead of, like... <laughs> well, there's a, you know, a certain amount of um, anxiety that you have. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I'm going through and I'm currently... You know, I'm currently taking anti-anxiety medicine. Right, you know, oh, my, well, me too. So you you got a de- friend there. <laughs> depression medicine, you know? It, yeah. It's a, you know, it's not... You think you're strong, and then you come out and you find out, well, maybe I wasn't that strong. Right. And, oh well, don't don't say it like that. You're 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 plenty strong, especially from right. what you just said. So. Right. Well, you, you, you find out you need a little help sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh, my doctor's real cool, and she said, look, you know, let me put you on this that'll help you calm you down. Yeah. And, and temporary, and when you feel better, and you talk it out with a psychiatrist, a little yeah. bit therapist, uh-huh. and you go off on it. You know. You get, you just allow yourself to take this to help you get through, you know, all the crap. Right, you're in a transitionary period, so of course right. you're going to need, you know, a little help adjusting from exactly. how different things are, of course. 
Exactly. That's gonna be a hell of a lot better not to be looking over your shoulder. You know what I mean? It must be exactly. it's gonna That's get better for you. And you know I don't do that now, but you know, yeah, I, of course. Like I've told everybody that I've talked to that's called me since I've been home. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, look here, here it is. You know, I did what I did, and I'm sorry for it, and I'm out. And I did my time, and mm-hmm. I'm ready to move on. And so you guys can either get on the train with me, or you can't. You can't yep, it'll leave without I, you. I can't change their minds, you know. Yeah, I absolutely. Do what I can do, and, you know, do well, for thing. the most, was there anybody that cut you off, like when you got out or when you went in, or? No, actually, not really. I mean, I had a really small circle of friends. Yeah. I was Mr. Uh, Me too, actually. <laughs> I, I really wasn't. I was. I'm pretty. I still am. Yeah. And I, and I was that way in prison. I was pretty much a loner. Yeah. I don't really hang around with too many people. Um, Oh, they do say to keep your circle small, to, you know, she's, it's, it's much easier to trust people when you're not trying to trust everybody, basically, because then right, you start right. getting all that anxiety. Well, you know, I mean, I have a couple of good friends, you know, one lady I'm doing part-time work for, she's been there for me. Oh, that's excellent. Another, another friend of mine, she's in Pittsburgh, and you know, I have my family, my sister, and, you know, cousins and stuff like Pittsburgh. that. Pittsburgh, do you ever you know, uh, come up here? Yeah, social. We don't socialize a lot. Well, I mean, yeah. They're there. I know they're there, you know. Right. When you have people, even if you don't talk to them every day, as long as you know you got support out there. That's another right. reason why I had to call you in the first place, just to let you know, because you never know. Like, I was worried you, you would feel like you, you didn't have any, so I had to, you know, give you a call and be like, hey, we're, we are here rooting for you. So right. you right. never have to feel like you never have support, because I will always be right. here supporting you. Right. Well, I want to know, um, so you, I, I asked you last time if you remembered me um, when I was at your first trial there in the big cranberry sweater and my <laughs> goofy grandma paisley spar- scarf, I keep calling it. Uh, when you <laughs> thought about it, did you remember me? Do you remember seeing me at all? I, I kept looking yeah, at you. Like I told you, that whole, that whole time table was a blur. Yeah, I, I hear you. Taken in by it all, it's it maybe even a shock. I just didn't realize yeah. anything was going on until... You know, you sit down in your cell and you start getting sleep and figuring out what the hell really yeah. happened, you know? Oh, gosh. Well, what I was yeah. trying to do was I was trying to catch eye contact with you, you know, give you the little fist bump of support there. I was trying yeah, to, like, go right. on, look at me, right. Kevin, like, you know, we're here. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't about my turn. Yeah. <laughs> like, Man, just keep your head down. Look straight, you know. Yeah. You've got all these media, all this cameras. And all oh my gosh, yeah, that you was something that just irritated me so you bad. Should, you should just, just don't pay mind to any of them. Just you know, pay attention to the judge and mm-hmm. me, and, and then we'll be out of there in a couple minutes. Yep, and that's the big okay. thing too. Is I always feel like they they make it into such a huge spectacle, and it's like this is a moment of somebody's life where, like, their entire life's about to change. It's a it should be a private matter. It shouldn't be. You know, put right. all over the friggin' TV. I've always, I've always felt that too, even with the media and the news, long before this stuff ever happened. You know, right? I don't think it's anybody's business of who did this or when they did it, other than reporting, hey, there was this happened. Yeah. But they don't need to put people's face on there. They don't. No, not at all. Face. And then, especially now yeah. that they're, they keep saying yeah. that the NBC. Um, wanted to do like re episodes of it, and there's then we're sitting here like, don't like, why would you do that? These people are long since tr- served their time. Like, right. there's really no way. To, like, why would you subject all those people? It's not just that, but the families also that were affected, and it's like you you're affecting so many lives when they are trying to get on with theirs. So you're right. this is harassment, is what it is basically. Right. Well, and, and, and unfortunately, because of the law and the way the justice is, it's a lifetime. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be. It's. I'm just so glad to hear that you're doing all right. So for you, I don't think it, it's going to be a lifetime thing. I think you'll be all right. Well, I hope. It's not. <laughs> you, know, you got to do your reporting and all that. Stuff, yeah. You know. How's that been, by the way? Has it been all right to deal with your? I mean, because you're you're from that investigation. You're um, the only one that's still RSO, and that's another reason why I was kind of pissed off. Because it's like, what? Why is it that everybody else gets off the list and you still have to stay there? I mean, Grant said that's the only way I get to see that the nice picture of you that I liked, but still, right. <laughs> the circumstances right. don't make me like it all that much. So, right. it irritates yeah, it, me. It just it just takes two minutes. You go into this little office and 
Telling your name, you check in another can, and give you a slip for the next time. See you later. That's all it is. Oh, thank God. So it's not even really a, a burden or anything. And $25 later. I know, right? <laughs> At least there's okay. that, though. Come on, that's like fucking two meals of Burger King. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, really. And that's, that's all I do. And like I said, I got a really nice parole officer. He's real cool. And Good. He understands. And so he's, he's, he's real cool. So. That's excellent. I'm so glad to hear it. Yeah. Well, oh my gosh, it's so nice to talk to you again. I was just like, I was so nervous to hear your voice again. I was like, oh my God, well, next time I call him and he's just going to be like, oh, I'm too busy, goodbye. And I was going to be like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> I'm not, I'm not a real, like I said, I'm not a real talkable person. Especially yeah. since I just got out. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's one of these things, you know, I got to get back to, you know, uh, re-socializing myself, I guess. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was hoping, I was sitting here with my fingers like, crossed, hoping you'd call me, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I try not to, because it's my mom's phone. It's oh, me. yeah, of course, of course. pay for it, so I really don't make long distance phone calls. Right, well, luckily, I, okay. I have to pay for this one, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, everything's going all right. Good. Well, is there any, I mean, if there's any other way we can keep in contact that, that you you don't worry about, I mean, I'm definitely open for it. I mean, the more I hear from you, the happier I am, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, call it a couple weeks if you want, you know, that's okay. Yeah. I would like that. Um, I'd like to be able to um, see you when I get back to Dayton, if that would be cool. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I have, I have my own car, so, you know, I'll be able to. Yeah pick you up okay. and take you wherever you like to go i haven't um i haven't been in your area and so i don't really know what's around there to like what do you like hey. to go to eat is there a good like coffee shop sandwich shop just about anything yeah that's what's not like where i was from we had like nothing over there it sucks yeah, I'm, pre- <laughs> I'm pretty easy going when it comes to all that kind of stuff. yeah me too i'm so not picky so whatever you like what's your favorite thing to eat well yeah. <laughs> you like everything um, <laughs> Probably Chinese. Ooh, yeah. All right. A man yeah. after my own heart. All right. Yeah. Like that, so. <laughs> there are good yeah. Chinese places near you? There's lots of all over the place. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I haven't had Chinese food in so long. Yeah. Oh, now I can't wait. I'm going to try and get back earlier now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, goodness. So what are your plans for the rest of the day? What are you going to do? Well... About dinner time, so I gotta go upstairs to get mom wants and get cook up some dinner. Stuff together, get my stuff together, and then the rest of the night is just to you know, do some things around the house for mom, and then it's, a, it's my time. <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you, though. I'm so I'm so glad to hear that. Just like, I wish more people could see the side of you. You know what I mean? Like, I wish. If everybody could, then I think they'd, they'd leave people that have served their time alone if they saw, like, look, he's, he's home taking care of his mother, like. The people uh, that know me know that already, and that's all that matters to me. Yeah, know? right. I mean, the people that know me know that, um, um, you know, yeah, I committed a felon, but I don't uh, consider myself a felon. You're, you've served your that. time, you're not, so you're, yeah, you're not legally. I don't, I don't let that control me, I don't let that be part of me. Because Good the thing in the past and uh, you know I'm dealing with it and I gotta move on you know? absolutely you know, absolutely that's the only attitude you can have and you have it so I can't tell you how elated yeah. that makes me to hear yeah. so one of the things I wanted to say was so so there was a rumor and I didn't unfortunately the the post was already mo- removed um, because of all those complaints that I made very loudly um, but I, I didn't get a chance and people were telling me that some of the comments said um, that one of the felonies you committed was against a family member, and I wanted to, like, go back and dispel them, but, I mean, I, I guess, like, they had listened to me rather quickly, which, so, now it's, like, a, a blessing and a curse, because I couldn't go back to, you know, have, like, be defensive and, and tell them that wasn't true, but then it's, like, now I don't know if that's true or not. Well, there's some other things that was going on at the same time, unfortunately, and it's uh, a long story, but I'd rather not just... No, I understand. I understand. No, it's okay. I'm not. I understand that yeah. completely. Um, but if it's, you know, I, um, would I be like, all right, like if it comes up again, you know, what could I say to get them to 
to shut up, basically. <laughs> like, so, is there anything I'd be able to say to get them to, like, to understand? Well, their business. <laughs> well, I've tried that, believe me. That's my biggest line is, you know, it's it's literally none of your business. His life and everybody else's life is none of any of their business, but right, right. doesn't seem to always do the trick as much as I wish it would, unfortunately. Right. Um, so I guess, um, I guess the best thing to do would just be ignore it, I guess, right now. Yeah. But luckily, since all the posts are down, I don't. I don't think we're gonna have that problem anymore because now that it's flagged, they're not gonna. Um, you know, there right. a- anything that has your name on it is is more than likely just gonna be taken down. So hopefully, that rumor will also uh, yeah. disappear yeah. into the darkness as it should. I think. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> so good. It was <laughs> double good. All yeah. right. Well, I best I gotta uh, let you go cook dinner for mom. Okay. You know what you guys are having? I have no idea yet. No? <laughs> well, you like yeah. Chinese. Why not some Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> no idea uh, yet. So we'll look in the refrigerator and see if we've got and we'll go from there. <laughs> yeah, Gordon Ramsay, some stuff out of the fridge food. I love doing that. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I hope I get to talk to you soon. I'll, I'll check in soon, hopefully. And if you, okay. you know, you well, know me. Uh, anytime, honey. Back. Thank you so much for talking to me. You know, I always love to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Thank Kevin. You. Have a good night, honey. Hey, you too. Bye-bye. Bye.